Hey TL Tears, how you doing? This is Alex with the Linux Two. Today we're going to talk about Paxton. What's Paxton? Well, let's pretend that the AUR went out and it met the Debian repositories. They had a nice date, and in the end, they had a baby. Well, that baby's name is Paxton. It's what happens when the concept of the AUR meets. Ubuntu and Debian repositories. That's it in a nutshell. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. See what you guys think about it. And here it is. Here is Packstall. You can find it at github.com, Packstall. Or you can Google Packstall and it will come right up. So, as it says right here, Paxtal is an AUR Ubuntu wishes it had. It takes the concept of AUR and puts a spin on it, making it easier to install programs without scouring GitHub repos and the likes. If you click here, you can see a, a list of available packages that can be found. And so we click on it, and it takes us to their list. As you can see, it goes on, and it's got several pages. So there's a lot of packages here, a lot of apps that you can install through this. And the command that you're going to use is, is like apt, in, apt install, and then the name of the package. Well, it's the same, only you do packstall dash capital I, kind of like the yay, uh, the AUR helper, and you do capital S. So that being said, uh, if you look up here, you've got the files. These are all the codes and everything else. This is, uh, it's got the readme and everything else here, so it can tell you exactly how to install it. Uh, the way that you install it is through copying this curl right here into your, this curl command into your terminal and executing it. It will download it and install it. The same can be said for uninstalling. Here's a list of the basic commands to use it, but however, if you need, you could always do pack stall dash h in your terminal and it'll pull up the man page that'll help you how to do that so let's go ahead and dive in let's install it and and try it out and take it for a test drive and see what see what it looks like so we're gonna go ahead and minimize this oh first off before that let's go ahead and copy that curl command you can either highlight it and copy it or you can just click this to copy it then we're going to open up our uh, terminal and we're going to click paste we're going to hit enter we're going to type in our password and let it rip. So here we go. We're going to hit yes. And now we're downloading it. Dang. That 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 was that was pretty fast. Holy cow. So let's go ahead and type pack stall. I believe it was dash up. Yep, and nothing to upgrade. So let's type packstall dash capital I. Okay, so what I did is I had to go back to the GitLab to find out what packages they have in there. And so what I did is I typed in Brave Browser. So we're going to install Brave Browser. And so what we got to type is Brave Browser dash deb in it in order to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight this copy it go to our console hit the up and then we're going to paste so you type in and you put in what you copied off the web browser and you put this in right here no i do not want to take a look at the script I'm going to put in my password now, and now it's installing it, just like that. It's installing Brave right now. And in just a few seconds, we should be able to launch it as soon as it's done downloading and installing it. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video now. Oh, I guess not. It just popped through. All right, so let's go ahead and close out our console. Let's click our application launcher. We should go to internet and look, there's Brave Browser. We're going to launch it and maybe later. And there we have it, Brave Browser. 
installed through Packstall. So that is basically Packstall in a nutshell, how you could use it. Uh, you can remove programs with it. You can definitely search. Um, like I said, you can go, what I did is I went, well, I guess he's gone. No, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the Linux tube dot shop. You know, that's why I'm here. Got some water bottles. The Linux tube water bottle, official Linux tube coffee cup. You go to the Linux tube dot shop, check out all our new gear. We got a couple different graphics going on. We're gonna be updating stuff all the time. T-shirts, socks, some sweatpants there, you know, whatever you cool kids are into. Get on there and check it out, man. Thank you. Alex, where'd you go, man? Alex! Hey! Uh, let's go back. Right here at the on the GitLab, the GitLab page where it says the available packages, click here. Type in whatever you're looking for. If it's there, it will be there. Uh, it'll come up. If it's not there, then I'll tell you there's no, like if I type OBS in, hit enter. This is all that's there for OBS background removal, OBS this, but no uh, OBS. I don't know what NDI is, but I don't think it's, it's, it's OBS at all. But because it's usually OBS Stash Studio that I know it as. Um, so anyhow, that's how you can find software to install through there. Uh, let me know what you think of uh, Packstall. It It is basically a, an interesting concept that's come along. I discovered it, like I said, through, through another uh, review for Nala. Uh, that I, Let's see you know, how it comes along. Of course, it's still kind of new you know still developing so there's more and more i think applications being added to it but uh, maybe some developer is going to pick it up or you know and run with it more i don't know but it's just an information thing to put out there for you guys so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of course if you use it or you know there's any tweaks or anything that should be done to this please comment them down below as well please like share and subscribe uh also visit us on our social media platforms uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and also at patreon.com, all the Linux tube. Also, you can visit us at the Linux tube.shop, buy some gear over there and some merchandise. We have water bottles, hats, all the cool stuff. And uh, that's it. Yeah. Thanks for all that you guys do. You guys have a great day and keep on Linuxing. Thanks so much.